Hello friends, uh, welcome back to the video series on uh, design of steel structural elements. Now in this uh, example, uh, we will see uh, we are, uh, the design of welded connection uh, between two plates of 200 mm width, that is the width of the plates are 200 mm and the thickness as 10 mm. And we have to design this slab joint uh, using a fillet weld for a 100% efficiency. right? You have to design this uh, lab joint for the 100% efficiency. Now 100% efficiency I mean to say that uh, I have to design this weld for a load equal to full strength of this solid plate. Yeah, You can take any of the plates because both the plates are having the same width and same thicknesses. So I have to design my weld for a load equal to the full strength of any of one plate. So let me call that as that load as PU okay that load as PU so I need to find the value of uh, PU that is the load for which I need to design so that PU that is the strength of the solid plate that is TDG is given as AG FY divided by comma M0 so AG is the cross sectional area of the plate so the width of the plate is 200 mm multiplied by the thickness of the plate multiplied by yield strength of the steel divided by the partial safety factor so I am getting PU that is the load for which I need to design is 454.54 kiloton Now, uh, before actually moving on to the further uh, calculations of the problem, uh, I would like to clear that this example will actually tell you uh, how to use the plug welds, right? So we'll see what do you mean by plug weld and how to use that. So the load for which I need to design my weld is 454.54 kilonewton. Next, uh, let me calculate the size of weld. calculate the size of weld. So the minimum size of weld minimum size of weld so you have to just look into that table 21 of IS 800 since it is 10 mm so minimum size of weld I will take it as 3 millimeters means up to 10 mm thick plate the minimum size of weld is 3 mm as per IS 800 and uh, maximum size of weld is 10 because both the plates are having the same width so 10 minus 1.5 8.5 millimeters so let me adopt uh, 8 mm size fillet weld S equal to 8 millimeters. Alright. Now let me calculate the load carried by 1 mm length fillet weld. length fillet weld the weld size will be of course 8 mm so this will be equal to effective length of weld effective throat thickness the ultimate tensile strength root 3 partial safety factor for the weld so effective length of weld is 1 that is because I am calculating for 1 mm length fillet weld so effective throat thickness is calculated as 0 0.707 times the size of weld multiplied by the ultimate tensile strength as 410 divided by root 3 
multiplied by uh, since uh, it is uh, not told anywhere clearly what uh, where you have to use this word so let me assume that it is being done in the shop so this comes out to be 1071.8 newtons so 1 mm length fillet weight of uh, size 8 mm will carry a load of 1071.08 newtons so next i will calculate total length of weight required total length of weld required so the total load that is to be carried is 454.54 into 10 raised to 3 newtons divided by total uh, the load that is carried by 1 mm length fillet weld is 1071.8 newtons so uh, this is coming out to be 424.4 so let me take it as 425 millimeters so the total weld that you need to provide is 425 millimeters now here comes actually the main uh, problem right now here you can see that where I can provide the weld is I can provide the weld here and I can provide the weld here means I can provide the weld here that is beneath and I can provide the weld here but the problem is I can't go up to the edge of the plate so I have to leave some space okay some clearance is required so that I should not go up to the edge of the plate but what is that clearance this clearance should be actually the size of weld means here I should be 8 mm clear 8 mm clear 8 mm clear and 8 mm clear now means I can provide here only 200 that is the width of the plate minus 16 and similarly I can provide here 200 minus 16 it means I can provide here only 184 184 and this also as 184 so means I can provide only 184 plus 184 mm length of weld so let me just write that total length available is one eighty four into two that comes out to be three sixty eight millimeters. but how much we require 425 which is less than 425 required length of weld is 425 but I can provide only 368 mm length weld right okay so therefore provide plug weld provide plug welding now what do you mean by plug welding actually what happens here is uh, we make some holes in this plate okay okay now uh, here uh, the plug weld is we provide some plugs in this uh, plates so that that those plugs will be uh, filled with the weld material so that area of the weld material will also contribute in taking care of this load 
so we'll see uh, how to we'll provide that we'll provide some uh, rectangular kind of plug welds even you can provide some uh, circular type of plug welds also so here in this example we'll provide the rectangular kind of plug welds so uh, this sentence is uh, arrived because the weld which is uh, available is 368 but the required is 425 so therefore we have to provide the plug weld now we'll calculate actually uh, how much will be the load that can be carried by this 368 millimeters so means 368 millimeter length of weld load carried by Three sixty-eight millimeter length of weld. This is very simple. The total length of weld is three sixty-eight multiplied by the load carried by one mm length fillet weld. So this comes out to be three ninety-four point one five. means out of uh, this uh, 450 4.54 uh, 394.15 kilonewton is carried by 368 so the remaining load will be carried by the plug width so how much is that remaining load which is 454.54 minus 394.15 this is coming out to be 60.4 kN so plug welds will carry a load of 60.4 kN now the area of plug weld uh, I'm going to provide the rectangular type of plug welds so first let me calculate the area of plug weld area of plug weld is equal to that is uh, area that is total load mm, divided by the stress in the weld because we know stress is uh, load divided by area so therefore area is equal to load divided by the stress so this comes out to be 318.9 millimeter square So what we'll do, we'll provide uh, two plug welds. Uh, you should not provide actually the one plug weld. What will happen uh, if you provide one plug weld, the area of that one plug weld will be more. So you're actually deliberately puncturing the plate. So we'll provide two plug welds. Two plug welds. So uh, uh, two plug welds and uh, one side of that rectangular plug weld will assume that to be 10 millimeters so the other side will be so area of one plug weld is 318.9 divided by 2 divided by the side of the plug weld so this comes out to be 15.94 so we'll take it as 16 millimeters so we'll provide a plug weld of uh, two plug welds of sides 10 by 16 so this will be shown something like this so I'm going to provide two plug welds here and one more is here so these plug welds are filled with the weld material so 10 and 10 16 and 16 so this is how uh, plug welds are provided even you can use a uh, circular type of plug welds so in that case uh, you have to just find out the radius or diameter of that circular type of plug welds so this is how this example will show you the usage of uh, plug welds
so i hope you understood this one uh, we'll see some more uh, videos in the next thank you